Hey guys, Michael here. So Father's Day is right around the corner and we need some Father's Day gift ideas. So one thing you can do with the laser engraver is engrave on hammers and that makes a great Father's Day gift. I made a couple of them already. This one says to a dad who can fix anything. And here's another one that says for our future projects and there's enough room to put someone's name in there. So I was gonna demonstrate how I made these. The only thing is I didn't buy enough hammers and didn't think about filming that. So I went ahead and made a wooden hammer and recorded the process to show you how I engraved this. Now I didn't show you how I made the hammer. This is just done with scrap wood on the bandsaw and I even have the claw on the hammer. So this looks like a real hammer. But uh, let me show you how I did the actual engraving on the M1. Let's get to it. All right, so let me put my hammer inside the M1. I'm gonna get as close as I can to making it um, horizontal with the piece. That way the text actually runs along the length of it. Plus I need to have that laser on the highest point for the auto measure. Let's close the lid and head on over to the XCS software. Okay, so I have the hammer on the screen now that I've closed the lid. Let me perform an auto measure to check check the height of it, make sure it will meet my requirements. All right, so it is too tall. I cannot use the hammer on the base. What I'm gonna have to do now is remove the base. A few moments later. Okay, off camera, I removed the base and put the hammer back in there. Let's check auto measure again. And that passed it was, it was able to succeed and it tells me the thickness for the measurement of the uh, laser so now i want to add some text in there let me hit text and click anywhere on the screen and i'm going to say something like let's see to dad for hours oh my goodness to dev for our future projects. I'm gonna put that on there. I can already guess that's probably too tall for it. So let me make it a half inch high. All right, let me change it to engrave. Let me do the settings I wanna go with. I'm gonna go with uh, 90 watts and 419. The setting I've used before in the past. Now, before I actually go with this project, I need to do the framing on it to make sure it's going to fit. Now, this is a little hard to see in the camera, so I'm going to try to show you guys. But I'm going to hit start, click on framing, and let's see if it fits. This is a lot easier to see on the naked eye than it is through a camera lens here. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, I'm nowhere near that hammer. It's actually way off the top of the hammer, so I need to bring it down. So looking at this right here, I'm going to use my arrow keys and bump this downwards. All right, I'm going to hit start, framing, and try again. That looked really good. So... As you can see, it is way different than what you're expecting to see on the on the uh, camera. So you can't trust the camera, especially when it comes to weird shaped objects such as a hammer. So let me hit, let me double check everything. So we have engrave, we're at 90, speed 419. I'm gonna hit start and send it. Let's see what happens.
there you go got it all finished up as you can see it actually it actually looks like a hammer so i'm surprised how well this guy actually came back or came out um yeah it's really easy to do as you can tell you can't rely on the camera alone you really got to use that framing feature to make sure that the engraving is going to be exactly where you want it to be especially on the something like this where you don't want to mess up you can't undo it you can't sand it down and make it look good well i guess in this case i could have sanded it down but um yeah so hope you guys have a good memorial weekend and uh i'll see you next time